So yeah, I'm really, oh, I'm so glad I got these. Could be, I mean, look, I even, I think it's this top. and welcome back okay so today is going to be a very different type of video it's going to be about how I style eyeglasses and sunglasses now I only need them for reading and I discovered that about mm, a few weeks ago I noticed and then I got contacted by glasses USA this is what is so funny it's like the stars aligned or something because I knew I needed reading glasses and then they contacted me I thought well how did you know but anyway it was just really, really good timing when they reached out to me to do this collaboration. I thought this was perfect because I need eyeglasses. I want cool eyeglasses. I want them to work with my wardrobe because I am no, I, there is no way I'm compromising and getting any glasses that are not gonna finish off and look good with any of my outfits. It's just not gonna happen. And I used to say that from years ago. Okay, so I have six pairs of glasses. Three of them are sunglasses. Three of them are eyeglasses, as in clear lens, but all six have a prescription in it, which is for me. I just gave them my prescription and they literally just sent me the glasses. It was perfect and it's free shipping there and free shipping return, so it's like super easy. Okay, so when I went onto the Glasses USA website, I loved the fact that you can sort of virtually upload your photo and then try on the glasses and see what they all look like. That, to me, was that was perfect because that way it helped me to pick exactly what I wanted. This is one of my favorites, by the way, the Magnus. So I just, I knew I always wanted a pair of gold rimmed aviator glasses. That's like, before I even know anything about eyeglasses, I knew I wanted a pair of gold thin rimmed aviators as eyeglasses. So when you go onto the um, website, I just went on to where it's got the women's. I mean, I actually did look at men's as well because you know I like men's men's items in general but I went on to the eyeglasses section and I just scrolled through I mean they have like pages and pages for all these different um, glasses that you can pick from and I just had a little scroll through and oh here's the Magnus ones that I liked see look at the price $89 um, and then you just go through you just choose the lens that you want just fill in this information and then enter your prescription and Bob's your uncle, you're sort of done. I like that they have a lot of brands on there that I already know, like Ray-Bans, and I shop those anyway. Um, they have Prada, they have Gucci. You know, they have a lot of big designer names as well, as well as their own brand of sunglasses. The whole point of this video is that is to show you that eyeglasses and sunglasses can completely like finish a look. I've always said this, I've said this in other videos, like you can just wear a t-shirt and a pair of jeans and just bum on a pair of really cool eyeglasses and it looks like you've just made an effort. Hopefully this video will inspire you whether you wear sunglasses, eyeglasses, or are thinking of getting either of those. And it's just really about the fashion point of view and just how they can just finish and complete the outfit that you're wearing. So for the first look, I have these gold framed aviators and I absolutely love, sorry, I'm just looking at the models to see what they look like. I really, really like these glasses. So for the first look I'm going to show you here, I. I teamed it with a Topshop red wrapped long sleeved top and a pair of high waisted old H&M jeans and my beloved Castaner black espadrilles. Very simple, very casual. They're there, but because the rim is so thin, it just sort of disappears into what you're wearing and doesn't look like it's overpowering it. And that's what I like the most about a gold framed pair of aviators. It's just the fact that they complement, they enhance what you're wearing. I mean, I've noticed that gold frame aviators are having a style moment as we speak. They really are sort of trending everywhere and people are just wearing them as is, no prescription. But I knew for me, from a style and aesthetic point of view, when I needed to wear a pair of eyeglasses, I was going to get that style because I've loved wearing aviator style glasses for as long as I know myself. Before I even started my fashion blog, I used to wear aviators. And you notice I went with big hair for this look. As you know, sometimes I like to play with my hair as well and go with either short hair or long hair. And I like that the aviators, to me, they just worked for both ways. So this was absolutely perfect. And I knew these would be good, and they were. All right, for my second look, I got these. They're called the Glencoe. Look at these. These tortoise shell, slightly oversized sun. Oh God. I just love the tortoise shell. I love, because I've dyed my hair, I just like that combination of the tortoise shell brown with the brown of the hair. But I like that look 
of browns with greens like bottle greens so next up I'm going to show you how I decided to wear them which is in a sort of all over golden look it was a really nice day that day and it was like at the end of the day I've worn my favorite gold metallic skirt um, and I teamed it with a simple Zara boob tube top and I just finished off with the Glen Clo oversized uh, tortoiseshell glasses as it's slightly 70s a little bit throwback to retro but without being too literal and I think one of the things I liked about this as well is just because it's brown I kept all of the outfit in a very warm golden tone to it so again I did big hair the boob tube is yellow which is one of my favorite colors and I teamed it with that gorgeous metallic gold pleated skirt which just moves like no one's business it sparkles like a disco ball I, I finished off with these lace up top shop sandals and my basket bag that i picked up from new orleans earlier in the year and i just like this whole very summery look but it's very warm it's kind of very golden and i just, just loved the way everything just worked together so next up i went with these these are like oversized sort of slightly cat eye I call them like blackout they just cover your eyes in the whole eye area completely. And I just like that they got this very, very slight cat eye look to them. So it's not too literal, but it is there. Just like nod to it. So these are the Muse M 1122s. And I decided to team it with a black and white, very summery look. I went with a Reformation dress, which I absolutely am obsessed with this dress. I've been hunting and looking for this dress for months and I finally caved. Yes, it's towards the end of the summer, but I don't give a whatever because i know that next summer i am definitely wearing this dress i like the contrast of that white with these sort of really oversized black glasses like sunglasses i really really like that look and i just finished off that with these espadrilles you lot know already about these espadrilles they are from h and m i love 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 these espadrilles and they are so so comfortable and then I just teamed it also with this bag that I got from Etsy. It's a little bit structured, um, but it's big enough to hold just my essentials. I like that contrast of a structured bag with the sort of flowiness of a ruffled dress. It's a very strong look because you're only playing with two colors here with just a little pop of the red lipstick. At the same time, it's still very, very feminine. So yeah, big thumbs up and I really like these ones. So yeah, and again, these are prescriptions. So if I'm sitting outside and it's a nice day, I don't have to take these off when the menu arrives. All right, so for my next pair of glasses, I also, along with the aviators, to me, in my book, I've always wanted a pair of like oversized geeky kind of glasses, a sort of, yeah, just geek looking glasses. Think of like designers like Gucci for Alessandro Michel. He did the look which was so ubiquitous. He, he ran all these flowy looking dresses down the runway, teamed with models wearing oversized kind of geeky glasses like these, and so, even before that runway and before Alessandro and Michelle, I've liked that oversized geek look because I mean, it's sort of, I feel like it's very Clark Kenty, if you know what I mean, but for women. So I saw these on their website, Muse M3278. I'll have everything listed below so you can have a look anyway. But I got these and again, I was like, yes, ticked off the box because I've always known that should I ever down the road need to wear glasses? I need a pair of those geeky kind of glasses and so I finally got them and I'm really really pleased. I think they're the kind of glasses that go with anything which is why I've always wanted a pair. I love that play personally on something that's very romantic and then you put on the geekiness of these and it's just a nice play on the different types of you know something a bit geeky teamed with something a bit more romantic. I love that kind of play together that's just oh I love that. Anyway that's why I went with this dress. Now I got this dress from, I think it was the Who What Wear, the Target collection. I just like the play of the red color with the black glasses. That was my first sort of instinct when I put this outfit together. When you're wearing this dress, it looks fine as is. There's absolutely nothing wrong with the way this dress looks, the way it is right now. But when I put the glasses on with it, it instantly gave it a look. Like the whole outfit had a look at that point. Yes, it is a nod to Gucci for sure. But without them, without the glasses, I just felt like it was just lacking something. So when I added these, it just completed it for me. And that's one of the first times actually where I've had eyeglasses complete my outfit. Not sunglasses, eyeglasses. So 
again it's the, just the fact that they're sort of the geeky glasses these to me will go with so many i'm really looking forward to teaming these and playing around with these glasses for different looks but for this particular outfit i just went with black and black and red basically as you can see so i've got my mark cross bag which i have had my eye on for I feel like it's been donkey's years that I've wanted this damn bag. So I finally got it. Looking forward so much to wear it into next season. Um, so I like the contrast of that boxiness of the bag and it's black, picking up on the black from the glasses and just wearing that with a flowy sort of dress, very loose and easy. And just finished off with very simple Madewell Gladiator sandals, just tie up the leg. I've been living in these sandals. And they, again, like the glasses, they just go with everything. So it's very, very easy, just throw on and go. I just like that combination of just having the darkness and the structure of the glasses teamed with a very flowy and romantic dress. It's the play of those two type of aesthetics together love stuff like that. I also saw this as a good opportunity to play with my eye makeup because for this particular look I like the fact that the red lipstick which is picking up on the red of the dress obviously but I like that play of like a strong red lipstick with the darkness of the frame of the glasses it's like that really I think that just really works really well together or alternatively I like the look of having like a strong, simple, clean black eyeliner on the top of your lash line and then you just put these on as well and you can just see them at the other side when you're talking. I just really think it's a nice play again of like feminine and slightly masculine in one. Look at these. How could I? There is no way that I would go on an eye gloss website. <laughs> there is no way that I'm not going to get a pair of these. I really, really like these. Now, these were a gamble for me because I thought at first, I like the look of a Wayfarer glass. I've always liked that shape because I love Ray-Bans and thank God they got Ray-Bans on there as well. And like I've said to you before, white and black are neutrals because it's almost like a no color. So it goes with everything. So I took these glasses because I thought these were such a good statement. These are called the Muse M Classic and they come in about six or seven different colors. Reds, I almost took the reds, but I thought, no, I'll go for the whites get used to them first and then I'll think about considering other colors as well. But anyway, so I took these white ones and for this outfit, I decided to go with a monochromatic look that was slightly more transitional this time. And it's a oversized boyfriend style black blazer. I just ruched up the sleeves so it feels a little bit more casual. And it's a very monochromatic look here, but slightly more transitional because of the blazer teamed with the high-waisted jean. These jeans I got from H&M and it's an old t-shirt, v-neck t-shirt, which I can't remember, it's probably the Gap or something like that. It's classic and very simple and easy to do. Um, and I thought, again, to me, I loved how these glasses finished the outfit. So obviously, obviously, I could have worn this outfit as is, and I've worn outfits like this as is before. But as soon as I put these on, it just sort of changed. It just sort of changed the fit. You instantly look like you've put an effort into what you like. You've you've created a look for what you're wearing. And no, you haven't really, because all you're doing is like, you just need a pair of eyeglasses on. But it just looks like there is an aesthetic going on with the style. Because of the way you team the glasses, the color of the glasses, the shape of the glasses with the clothes that you're wearing. So I really liked this particular outfit that I wore recently. Um, the sandals are a pair of block heel suede lace-up sandals that I got last year from Topshop. Love them, very comfortable. Just enough to give it a little bit of height whilst I'm wearing a pair of cropped wide leg jeans, high waisted, really like this. So it's a strong, like I said, monochromatic white and black look. But again, the glasses, that to me is what really sort of finishes it off. And it's just nice to be able to wear something and they compliment you on your glasses. Oh, I like your glasses. You know what I mean? So I like, I like that you're not just wearing them because you have to but you actually want to. I brought out my black Celine uh, box bag. I've had this for, I think about a year or so now. Um, and it's one of those bags that I tend to reach for in autumn a lot. But you see what I mean? It's like a look. You've not tried to create a look, but the glasses sort of enhance what you're wearing without you even thinking about it. So yeah, thumbs up with these. God, I can't wait to practice with all these glasses, I tell you. <laughs> And lastly, I finished off with these kind of squared off sunglasses. Again, all these have my prescription in, which is perfect. These are called the Amelia E. Villa, I believe. I'll have it on the screen and it's be linked below as well for all of these glasses. But I liked just the squareness of these glasses 
and this the darkness of that lens it's just like almost like it's completely blacked out my face is kind of heart shaped it's sort of wider here and goes in like that but i think that this because it's square it sort of counterbalances that and just i just really like the look of these glasses and they're not too oversized so they don't feel like overly trendy but it feels like something that's going to be a bit more classic and i really like the pattern i don't know if you can see this the pattern on it is like um it's got like a little sort of sort of pinky sort of pink color to it but it's like a slight floral pattern to it but very very slight so i like that contrast of that slight pinky pattern here and the darkness of this square lit i love that combination i teamed it with one of my favorite summer dresses from h m it's just a simple sundress bright butterscotch yellow oh god i can't believe i said butterscotch and i didn't make a blooper out of it that has to be a first i love this dress because it's got pockets that's probably the first thing. When I got home, I realized I had pockets. I nearly fell off my chair. So for this look, I just added in my espadrilles. These are a pair of platform, slightly platform wedge castanet espadrilles. My bag, I went with this bag that I found online, but I love these round straw bags. I just, I've been living with this damn straw bag. I didn't realize I'd use it as much as I have been, but um, it's just been my go-to little bag throughout the summer. Um, because most of my most of my straw bags are handheld and they've only got a couple which are on the shoulder and this is one of them I like the play of the squareness of the shape of these glasses very classic looking with the uh, femininity of this particular dress with the oversized bows on the shoulder so it's just a nice contrast so it doesn't sort of make the dress feel too overtly twee and too sort of sweet if that if it makes any sense so they play with each other perfectly well so that's it those are my six glasses my six eyeglasses my first ever eyeglasses oh my god this is like a whole new world for me i tell you oh. all the glasses that i've been wearing in this video as i said are linked below as well as to the website for glasses usa and i'm really really glad that i got to sample so many different styles and just see how i'm going to style them i always always have said this sunglasses complete the look and I still feel that way, and I also feel that way about, eye, especially about eyeglasses. Anyway, I know for you lot, you're probably thinking, yes, yes, I already know about this, but for me, this is like, this is, this is all new. This is new territory for Karen, but I'm really, really glad that there's glasses out there that just can look as stylish as the clothes you've got in your wardrobe, and that is the whole point of this video. Anyway, I hope this was helpful to you, and if it was, please do give it a thumbs up, and as always, please do feel free to subscribe to my channel if you have not already. And I guess I will see you next Friday. Do you like the idea of me doing lookbooks? If you do, then tell me in the comments or give me a thumbs up so I, I know either way. Um, but anyway, I'm done waffling as usual. I will see you guys next week Friday. Bye. Geek looking. Oh, right, for my, okay, for my, Ugh. I was going so well until this point. All right, for my next option. Option? No, not option. Next pair of glasses. <gasps> okay, so... <laughs> so, yeah, I'm really... Oh, I'm so glad I got these. Could they... I mean, look, I even... Uh, I think it's this top. Because this is the first time that you lot have seen, like, me outside of this room. Why am I doing that so much? But um, yeah, I hope this was in any, in a way, this, anyway, you know what? It's the frills. It's because it's masculine, sort of. You've got the geekiness, this, and oh. <gasps> I finally got geek glasses. I wanted them for so damn long.